A huge concern on the island at this time, the amount of tourists who were there. We're already working with a local airline to see if we can get tourists off the island to um, at least house them on another island like Oahu. Scott McMurray with Alaska Travelgram joins us in our studio tonight to talk about some of the options for Alaskans and tourists in general currently on the island. And Scott, thanks so much for joining us tonight. So tell us, what are you hearing about options for people when it comes to booking flights off of Maui and uh, out of Hawaii at this time? You know, the uh, situation is best described as dynamic there on the island um, with cell service down, power out. It's like, if it was me, if I was there, I, I'd just make my way any way I could to the airport. Uh, there are other airlines besides Alaska, Southwest and Hawaiian, who are just getting people to Oahu, just out of harm's way there. Um, from our end here in, in Alaska, you know, we're paying attention now to people who have made plans to go to Maui. And of course, Alaska is letting you change, or, you know, cancel those uh, arrangements. You know, it depends on when you want to go back, uh, how maybe uh, later in August or in September, uh, in terms of, you know, delaying those and not paying any additional fare um, for your new ticket. But those are the discussions that are going on right now. And as Alaska Airlines said, their main concern is getting their flights there so they can get the crews there in place and also get the people off the island on those planes. And the governor of Hawaii, of course, is discouraging all non-essential travel to Maui. Now, for Alaskans who have an upcoming trip booked, what are their options for a refund? Oh, well, you don't get a refund. You get, if, if you defray your, your travel, your, the money that you paid goes into your, into your online account at Alaska Airlines. Airlines, as a rule, don't give money back, but you can use it for a future trip. Scott, do you foresee this horrible disaster affecting trips and ticket prices uh, in the near future, maybe even long term? Anytime something like this happens, you know, I mean, Maui's, you know, stock is going down as a vacation spot, but nobody particularly wants to go to Lahaina, so that's going to be impacted. Um, the the uh, the stock of Hawaii in general, it, it it's uh, resilient. People still want to go to the islands, and they'll still go. Um, ticket prices are dynamic. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're really bad. There's a sale that's going on right now to Honolulu for 177 bucks each way, which is a pretty good deal. Okay. We'll have to see. Well, finally, Ty, you've been to Lahaina. What are your thoughts about what's happening? It's, it's tragic. It's just tragic. I, you know, you and I were talking before, before we went on. I think I bumped into you there in Lahaina one yes. time. <laughs> and and it, it's, you know, it's a glorious little town with a nice little harbor. I've sailed out of that harbor to Lanai. And um, so those memories are close to my heart right now. And my thoughts and prayers go to those people who are facing this devastation at their front door right now. It is such a shame, yes. such a tragic situation. Scott McMurrin with Alaska Travel Graham, thanks for joining us tonight. Still ahead tonight, have you ever